Welcome back, everybody. We are breaking down week five of BB Can season 12. We got our boy Pike here, a uh, big member of the Pretty Boys, and, and one of, you know, you're watching the season, you know Anthony's in there, he's doing his thing. Uh, and Pike, uh, if you guys don't know, he was on season seven, and he was part of the Pretty Boys, one of the most, if not the most dominant alliance in the history of Big Brother. He's played with Anthony, he knows Anthony, uh, he's been watching the season. Pike, give us a little introduction, tell us about yourself, man, what's going on? Yo, what's up? Um, I, I want I want to start by saying that it's really nice to to be back as a fan again mm -hmm. because when I first went on Big Brother, right, like the first couple of years, it was just it was a whole other vibe, and like just these last two years, especially now with with Dougie on there, like I feel like I'm a, I'm a true fan of Big Brother again, and I'm like I'm in it with the <laughs> shit, you know. It's almost like I didn't I wasn't even on the show, you know, but um. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, to, I'm here to talk some shit. Let's do it, baby. I love it. That's that's a thing too. It's like, and I'm glad you brought that up because you know, especially after you play, like I always say this myself. Before I played, I was like a big fan of the show. Then you play, and then it's like you see behind the curtain. You see, it's like of a magician. You know, you go to a magic show. You see a magician do a magic trick. Like they cut the person in half, and you're like, oh, how do they do that? You know. And then like the magician shows you how they do that, and then you go back to see the magic show again. You're like, eh, it's not that impressive anymore because you know how it's done now, right? And that's how I felt with Big Brother after I played the show. Like when you're a fan, you're like blown away by everything. Then you play and you're like, man, you know, you see the kind of the behind the curtain and then you watch it after that. And you're just like, it, it just, it's so, I have a different view of the show altogether now. Sometimes it's hard to enjoy it, but, uh, but yeah, seeing, you know, I, I'm, you know, I love Dougie. Dougie's my boy and, uh, you know, he's obviously your boy too. And, and, and watching a friend play is very different and it, it brings a different kind of view and, and feeling to the game, uh, for sure. So, uh, very happy you're sitting down with us, man. Love the background. Love your camera, man. This guy's got such a good quality, like quality over there, man. Shit. <laughs> looking good buddy yeah so let's yeah, yeah. it's go go ahead no i was gonna say let's let's break it down and i want to know because last night's episode was nuts we can either jump right into like the episodes we can talk into whatever you want but like man last night's episode was insane let's even we'll do a quick recap because i didn't even do last week with uh with uh, vivex hoh so last week what vivek was hoh i'll just do, I'll, I'll run through it super fast because you know i'm already moving on to this week man because last night was so nuts vivek was hoh dennis was uh his ride or die his best buddy uh dougie and and the crew basically come in convince him to to put up Dennis. Dennis goes home. Big surprise should never, ever have happened. Like literally one of the worst moves I've ever seen ever. Uh, Vivek was just atrocious. I want to say something. I'm sure Vivek is like a really nice guy in the real world. Someone that, you know, he's got good morals. Good. You could tell he's a really good guy and, and that's a good quality to have. He's a very, it's good to have, but just for big brother, man, just not built for it, man. Like you can't play with like, Oh, go on, go on. I here. Let's hear it. It, it, it kind of reminded me of when John put up early. Hmm. But like it, that was that was like the right time to do it, you know. Right, but like, it made sense. Doing that, yeah, doing that week three, it just does not make sense whatsoever, yeah. right? Yeah, he, um, I feel like there's a time for everything in, in Big Brother, but it was way too early. And that's the thing; he got used, man. Like, like they used him, they used Vivek to take out their target, who was vivek's friend like what are you doing he fell for it he's like now nah, i got the numbers man i'm sorry uh, dennis i'm safe next week i got the numbers and 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 what happened man they used them they got what they needed out of them see you later buddy you're disposable that's like bro that's why you gotta oh man it's so hard to watch sometimes but hey that's the way it goes man wild man last night was bro. fucking wild and of course of course spicy gets it <laughs> Bro, it was spicy. Oh my I feel like god! If that was anybody else, they probably wouldn't have used it. And like, yeah. I was even, I was like tweeting last night. I was like, she's not going to use it. It just doesn't make sense. Why would she use it? Right. Like someone, someone's going home. Why would she use it? <laughs> Oh my God, that was brutal, man. I got to tell you something, man. Like, you just nailed it. Like, no, there was zero reason to use it. You got Toll on the block. You got Todd on the block. Who gives a shit? One of them goes home. Bye. See you later. We're moving on. You're not making any waves. You're not, you know, going back on your word. Like, just cool. One of you guys go home. Who cares? Bye. Move on. Uh, but no, V's going to V, man. That's what she does. You know what I mean? So she's like, you know what? I got the power. And, and I got to tell you, I'm glad she used it for, like, for us as a viewer. Uh, Entertainment-wise, it was awesome. I thought 
thought last night's episode was definitely the best episode of the season by far. Nothing even comes close. Uh, last night was so fun to watch. And I was sitting here, I, I was watching it on, on Kick and stuff, and we're watching it. And I was just like, I was losing my mind. And then Vivek goes up, and Vivek's like, what about our four? And the way he said that, I died, dude. I was done. I was like, what are you doing, man? You know, what about our four, man? Well, you could talk to Dennis about it uh, when you get home tonight. You know, you guys could discuss your four uh, later tonight. I, I, would, I would love to be a fly on the wall to hear that fucking conversation. <laughs> You know, <laughs> but it was hey, Todd stepped up last night. He did. We've seen, we seen a little bit of a little bit of Dryer Pike. <laughs> That's what we call him. We call him Dryer Pike. It's like someone put him in the dryer and he shrunk. You know what I mean? That's I what we call him. That. I seen something else. I seen someone post a picture of Vivek and Fessy. And it's like dryer fist. <laughs> <laughs> got a lot of got a lot of dryers in it. But yeah, it was. Uh, here's the thing. Now, and I know this is not something we want to say. I know it's not something we want to say. The, I would personally, I think the move for Todd last night for Todd's game, even though obviously you know we, we're cheering for Anthony. I think the right move for him was to fucking use it, put up Anthony, and while Anthony's on that block, you know some people might think, oh, they won't have the numbers to get him out. I think Anthony's one of those players. If he touches the block, everyone's gonna be like, this is our time to do it. If we don't do it now. When are we going to do it? It's like a band aid, you know, put him up. See, see you later. He has no time to campaign. He has no time to cause waves. He has no time to cause drama, no time to spill everyone's game. He's on the block. He's voted out. He's gone. Uh, that's what happened to me on season three. I was like, I didn't know it was, you know, I was safe. Same thing happened to Vivek yesterday. You know, you're, you're just waiting to go in and vote. Next thing you know, you're on the block and out the door and, and you don't even know what happened. You're just like, how am I sitting on here with Arissa? So uh, personally, if I were Todd in that situation, especially knowing that, that Todd and Anthony don't really have the best connection right don't have the best relationship todd's close with bailey bailey and anthony who really knows what's going on there um the play to me if i was todd throw up dougie just say sorry later everyone wants him out i just think people are too afraid to do it um but hey i'm glad he's still there doing his thing i think you know i gotta say he is doing such a good job uh being where he is i mean the guy's never touched the block we're in week four or five now um he's obviously one of the biggest targets in their biggest names he's so well insulated with his alliances and, and relationships people want to take the shot i don't think anybody's willing to do it yet who knows what happens this week uh what do you think so you played with him him. what do you think is he doing a lot of things the same as last time is he doing things different what, what do you what do you think of his game right now and what what are the similarities and what's different from last time i feel like a lot of the people on our season was kind of doing the same thing that that spicy and the girls are currently doing right they're, they're talking about what dougie's doing and they're, they're seeing what he's doing they're saying oh man, we, we need to get him out but they're never going to do it right mm -hmm. Like, you know, and, and, you know, Sam was HOH, Chelsea was HOH. There was a lot of different HOHs, but like nobody put him on the block. Right. Yeah. And I, I, I do believe that he's going to do the exact same thing. He's going to walk his way right to the right to the finale because nobody ever wants to take that shot because like he just makes you feel like you're number one. You're his best friend. He's your he's your, your supporter. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, you could see the way that he's that he talked to Goose last night. You know, he's like, I love you, bro. And they're hugging and shit. And like right. everybody just goes to confide in to Anthony. And that's exactly what we were doing in our season. We'd always like. Okay, what do we do? We got power. What what do we do? And we like listen to Anthony. That's what's exactly what would happen, and that's mm -hmm. exactly what's happening this season. And it just blows my mind that all these people watch the season. They know exactly what he did. They know that he was lying the whole fucking game, and they're still letting it happen. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's but that wild. Being said, you know what it's like in there. It's a completely different world. Yeah. You know? And, and I'm glad you brought that up with the, with the goose thing because I think a lot of viewers don't realize this, but sometimes the big moves, like people think a big move is like using a veto or backdooring something. Sometimes a big move is something like just a basic little conversation, making someone feel like welcomed and like just like when they're down, you're like, hey man, I got you, buddy. Don't worry about it, man. You know, like, you know, put your arm around them and you literally make them feel even like safe or comfortable for a few minutes. And they remember that like, yo man, that was that, that moment. Like sometimes when someone's at their lowest and you're there to be like, Hey man, come here and you pick them up a little bit. Sometimes I know it doesn't look like that on, on a show, but something like that, and it seems so small can be so big in the bigger picture because like when someone was at their lowest, you were there to be like, Hey, come here, man. I got you, buddy. Like, let's chat a little bit. And sometimes that's all they needed, you know? And, and, but it, of course it doesn't come across on camera. Sometimes people think, Oh, that's just dumb. Like who cares? It's just a conversation. People like become so tunnel visioned and like almost like game bots. They think, Oh no, everything's got to be game talk. Nah, man. Sometimes it's those, those things. And like I said, when I when, like you said, when I saw, 
when I saw Anthony sit with with uh, Goose, he's like, "Come here, man," and you could tell it was like they were just having that little heart to heart or whatever. It hits a little deep sometimes, and it's good, you know. Those, those moves are like they're, they're like, "Yeah, man, I like that. I appreciate that." So sometimes those to me are like the big moves, and that might save you at the end, you know. Uh, if someone likes you a little bit more, they're maybe going to target the other person first instead. Now I'm not saying that's going to save them all the way to the end. Maybe it, it helps. Maybe it doesn't. But speaking of Goose, uh, what do you think of? I feel bad for this guy too, man. Like he's listen. I'm not. I got you know. Uh, he's just one of those characters i'm just whatever about right like i just let's say it as it is man i'm just like he's just not i don't know he, he seems like a nice guy but like he's like oh gosh darn it frickety frack i just so upset flipping i'm so flipping you know perturbed right now like what the fuck like anyway so um his hoh wasted like that would suck like i would hate that if, if i was hoh you go through the whole week you try to make a couple moves make a lot of mistakes you have more enemies going in i think he didn't need to do anything this week he was in a decent spot he was he was a pawn sure but uh you know he wasn't really you know in anybody's target becomes hoh makes a few mistakes now everyone's looking at him uh his targets don't even go home i mean at the end of the day it all fell on that executive veto it didn't even matter what he wanted to do it was all in the executive veto so basically he pretended to be hoh all week v gets the veto in three minutes she gets to literally control an entire week um and goose is sitting there like fuck um so but if you look at, at the kind of the pattern you know it's how it's been going it's like someone wins hoh uh, you know, Anthony V had their targets. They make the HOH do what they want. And then the next week, HOH becomes their target and they're gone. It's like a loose end. You just get rid of it, you know? So the HOH takes out who they want to go home. And then next week, that HOH is gone. All the all the evidence and everything goes out the door with them. No, nothing, nothing ever happens. So I think the gameplay is interesting. What do, you, what do you think of everything so far? Like, what did you think of the whole week? Like, uh, start to finish, you know, the, the HOH competition uh, to the veto. What was the HOH comp last week? What was that? What was the HOH? Um, oh, it was trivia. It was trivia. That's right. And they all got like, most of them got, it was like three oh, questions. Yes. yes. Or, yeah. Yeah. It was spicy, spicy and, uh, spicy and goose. Yeah. yeah like everyone was out right away. Uh, the, the comps, uh, look, we spoke about this before, I think, but like mm -hmm. the comps are like, I, I like them because like they're, they're, they're fair, but like that POV comp, right? Yeah. Those are bad. Personally, I think everybody who's in that POV comp, especially people on the block should be moving, doing something, fighting yep. for their life. Not like, you know, just randomly like, like Todd and, and Tola never lifted a finger. They never even broke a sweat. They were out. They were gone yep. like that. To me, that, that maybe that should have been like a, a an HOH competition or something. Yeah, I agree. Not a, not a POV, but, uh. I don't understand uh, why Goose kind of like even after the POV ceremony, uh, what we seen there last night. Um, you know, he started like giving all the information to everybody. Like he didn't need to do that. He yep. just shut up. You know, yeah, so, like that, that. I just I don't understand why people say the things they do when they don't need to say anything. I was talking about oh, that. Just shut up and you're good. You know, people just put targets on their back and they yeah. don't need to. I was talking about that on the stream uh, yesterday. It's like these people don't know just to stay quiet. It's like they not only do they tell their targets, they tell their thought process and what they're, why they said this to this person. And they're literally telling every conversation they've had all week, what their intentions were, what was going like, like they're, they're giving everything out. It's like, just, just chill, you know? It's like spicy at the beginning of the season when she had the, the conversation with Janine and she's like, yeah, like Dougie's my number one. I, you remember that? Yeah. Like, why? You need to say that. Yeah. It's not like you're, it's not like you're talking to the jury and like you're, you're, you're trying to, you're trying to, uh, you know, play nice before they go to jury. Like this is, you know, you're, you're in the game. Yeah. Sense in my head. No, I'm with you on that. And, and Goose did a lot of that where he was just like, he would just tell his targets, tell his thought process, tell who he wants the back door and why, why he said this, this person. It's like, you don't need to do that. Just relax. You don't need to break everything down. HOH, HOH yeah. should literally say nothing. Yeah, and that's your that's your chance. The information exactly. That's your chance to get the information, not give it all out. But but like I said, this cast is it does seem a little soft. I mean, Vivek was brutal. Uh, Goose is brutal. I mean, Matt. I mean, he's not exactly like even uh, even when Spicy walked in the HOH last night, and Goose was just like, "No, I'm talking to Anthony." Like I, I feel like I feel like that power maybe just got to him a little bit. And he was like, he was on a little power trip there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's over now. Like that power is gone, buddy. Relax. I always, the way I always say it and, and, and the way I look at it, it's like, 
when you're HOH, you have that quote unquote power until that veto box closes. So once the veto's either used or not used, the box closes, you now become, you you were at a, a spot in the house where you had the most power, you know, technically because you can nominate people, but now there's no veto to be played. The noms are locked in, you know, for the most part, unless there's like a twist. Um, and now you, you have no power. Not, not only do you not have any more say in the week, you can't vote. So now the house decides, well, it's this person or this person, like who cares what the HOH wants because it's done. He can't do anything about it now. If we want to save his target, well, we can. He can't or she can't even play in the next HOH. So the the earliest that the HOH can even become in power, come in power again, is two weeks from now if they're still in the house. So as soon as that veto box closes, you now become you know the the head figure, I guess, to literally at the bottom. You don't have a vote. Who cares what you think? Uh, you've made your shots. You've taken your shots. Are you going to hit? Are you going to miss? And you can't play in the HOH next week. So to me, I always think, yeah, what's up? Got a question. Do you, do you know why they took away um, the HOH playing the POV? Yeah. Well, I mean, my thought on it is this. So, okay. If you, if you're in a season and a lot of times the players, so say if I, I'm HOH and I nominate, let's just say you and, and Anthony just for, you know, so I nominate you and Anthony. And so the, the thing is a lot of people will always try to throw the HOH to the, 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 uh, the veto to the HOH and, or they try to knock you guys out or whatever. And a lot of times the HOH wins the veto or, you know, if someone wins it, they don't want to use it, whatever. The way I look at it is if the HOH isn't playing, there's a, a lot higher chance that one of the noms are going to win it because a lot of the people that get picked, they're like, well, I don't want to win it. I have no need to, to win it. So they, they either throw it to the two noms or sometimes they win it and want to keep it the same. But as long as the HOH isn't in there that's one less person gunning for it because the hoh wants to keep their noms the same right so the hoh is gunning for it hard well you take that out of the equation the two people that are technically playing the hardest for it is the two noms which makes a higher chance for the veto to get used if the veto gets used there's more drama more targets better tv i think it all plays off of it like that's how i see it is that they want the veto they want the noms to win the veto because it it causes more drama more yeah you know that's that's how i look at it that makes sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah, I, if I was, I was thinking about that last night, and I was like, I was like, I don't know why they were. You yeah, know, but that that's how sense. I see it. Because if if the noms stay the same, it's boring. Okay, blah blah blah. But if one of the noms come off, it's like, all right, now the HOH has to make another shot, take another shot. One of his targets or her targets is now safe. They're still in the game next week. Blah blah blah, and it just kind of plays off itself. That's how the how I look at it. But but yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, obviously as a player, I'd rather be playing as if I'm HOH. If I'm a viewer, I mean, I like to see the the switch up and stuff. Uh, where do you think? What do you think of Anthony? Like, what's he sitting at right now? You think he's doing a good job? What do, what do we think? I mean, Twitter or, or X, whatever you want to call it, um, they don't like Anthony. They don't yeah. like Anthony, man. It's, it's, there's a lot of, like, every single comment I see, I don't see one good one about Dougie. Yeah. And also, I, I personally feel, because in my season, you know, at the start of our season, Dougie was also hated. And then as the season progressed, right, people started to like him, mm -hmm. you know? And I, I, I'm hoping it's going to go in that direction because, like, he do deserve more credit. Like he is mm -hmm. controlling every single week and he is an amazing player and he never touched a block his first season. And now he's, he's, he's going on that path again. Yep. And you, you should put some respect on his name. I get it. I get it. He's cocky. He <laughs> says some shit. He has the fucking right to be, he has the right to be, you know, he, he went an entire season on season seven, never touched a block. Every single fucking decision that was made. He had a say in it. Mm -hmm. He had a say in it. And he never, like, he was an HOH once. And he's doing the exact same thing right now. I get it, he was HOH the first week, but, like, I, I don't technically right. count that because it wasn't, you know what I mean? Um, I just think that people should put more respect on Dougie's name. I think he's playing great. But, you know, uh, I was watching the dailies today. I don't know. I don't know. I've seen some things on Twitter about, like, Spicy and, and the girls um, talking about how they want to make a move on Dougie. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's going to happen. You know, as much as they want to, I don't right. think they're actually going to do it. You know, right. but yeah. I would, I would like to see him actually be up on the block and see how he reacts and see what happens 
But at the same time, obviously, I don't want that. I want him to get right to the end. But it would be nice to, like, see how that whole... Because that would be a crazy week, you know? We have the exact same... Like, I feel... And I talk about this on the stream all the time. We have the exact same... I want to see how he plays with his back against... the. I I don't want to see him get out. I want to see... I want to see him win. That's my guy, you know? But at the same time, I want to see how he plays in danger. Like you said, I want him to get nominated and be like... And now you got to see, like... It's easy to play the game when you're on top, right? When everything's going your way and you don't have to worry. it's, It's very easy to play. I've been on there too, you know, where it's like you, everything's. Go- Imagine his his campaign. Oh yeah, I would love to see. It. I think you do a great job. Probably the best campaign ever. Mm-hmm. So I would love to see it. No, no offense to Todd, but like <laughs> Todd last night, and the girls are like, "You need to go campaign," and he's like, "Well, well this is uncomfortable." Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> but that's that's what happens when people go into the house and they they yeah. never watch the show and they don't know. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's but. I, th- I think Todd is going to get, I think Todd is going to be one of those people who just like, makes it to the end and then m- they might win HOH at the end and then like make a big move and then get to the final. That, that's, that's what I think Todd is going to do. I, I could see Todd going far too, because there's the way I always look, I always look at the game in like different, I don't know. I look at it different ways. Sometimes it's like for me, like Vivek going home last night to me was just, it wasn't the right move. It, it was great for TV, but like if I'm in that house, I'm bringing Vivek to the end. I'm bringing Goose to the end. I'm bringing Todd to the end. I'm bringing Lexus to the end. These are players that aren't doing anything. You know, I'm taking out Don't the always work out. No, it's no, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But I we did that with Kira, right? Kira yeah. Played fucking 30, 37 competitions or whatever. <laughs> And we're like, yeah, let's let's bring Kara with us. No, of course, there's happens. exceptions. Yeah, of course. What happens? They, they win at the end, right? Is what? It happens. It happens. But it's like you know, I and I'm taking out you know the Duggies, the V's, the whatever. Everyone that's playing, you got to take them out, especially now, middle of the game, right before jury, even you know, before they have too much pull. But uh, you know, I'm I'm bringing the Todds to the end, the ones that don't know the game. Like I don't even know if Todd's studying. Like I don't know. Maybe you know, like, like at the end, it's always like ba- it's comps based on dates or who said this and who did that. Is he even paying attention to that? Like, we don't even know. So it's like, those are the players you want to carry with you. And, and then you bring them to the end. They're a walking $100,000 check. That's just the reality of it. Um, I, I, yeah, I think Dougie's doing well. I'm with you, man. I, I want to see him on the block just to see how how he plays. Again, it's very easy to play when you're on the top. But when your back's against the wall, it's like, all right, now I got, I'm like, I'm actually in danger. I could go home. I need to do something here. Uh, and, I, and I want to see it happen. I think he's doing well. I, I think it's so hard for him to win this season. I think like right now he's in a really, really, really good spot. But people are seeing it. And like you said, the girls are already talking. I think they're either going to try to weaken him a little bit by like taking out like a mat or something like that. Like either taking out his right hand guy or they just go right for the, the, the head of the, the snake. If they don't want to say it in any term, you know, um, it hasn't really been like on bro, doing much. Matt, man. What the hell? There's so many like Matt. So many, there's so many people. So like, many. It's like, oh shit. Like they're, they're, even, they're here. Yeah. The whole season has been about Dougie and Spicy mm. and a couple of the girls yep. and D- Dennis. And, like, you know what I mean? But yeah, I like Dennis, man. I got I got to give a big I shout like out to Dennis too. I yeah, like Dennis too. Like I, I wish he was still on there because like, yeah. he, he he knew his shit and yeah. he, was, he was fun. He was fun to watch. I got to give a big shout out to Dennis, man, because what happened preseason, you know, they always tell you your favorite players and stuff. And Dennis mentioned me. He said I was his favorite. So big shout out to Dennis. I was cheering for Dennis too. You know, I, I like the guy. Um, I like that he was. The, the first couple people um, that, that, that normally leaves the season, like normally, like you don't really remember much, right? right? But I feel like the Vivek Dennis thing. Yeah, that's this, big. This whole thing, people yeah. are gonna like look at this season, and be like, oh man, you remember that? Yeah, yeah, that moment when he says you're next, and Vivek's like, yeah. no, and he's like, you're next. He floated out on the foot. That's bro, that was gold. Like that, like he should. Like there was no scenario where he went out this week but then he still went out this week like he wasn't even on the block on on, on eviction night like and it still came true you know uh no it was great man I, I that was great but yeah i know dennis is great big shout out to dennis and uh have you talked uh, to him i have actually we've talked quite a bit we've been dming and you know back and forth. I was, we were supposed to facetime today but we're doing this we're doing this me and you so i'll facetime him later but yeah he seems i'm just it's unfortunate that him and dougie were on opposite sides i would have loved if they would have been able to get together uh but that's the way it goes you know uh what are your thoughts because okay what do you think is gonna be if there is a downfall to dougie what do you think his downfall is gonna be or what do you think uh he needs to watch out for like what's what's in there right now that's in his way or dangerous to his game I, can, it, I, don't know, I, I do. I do feel like 
you know, the girls are starting to catch on to him just manipulating mm-hmm. everything, which he does. Like you, 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 he can literally sit down with you and have a conversation and he will flip everything onto you and make you feel like it's your idea. Like that's yeah. what he does. Right. Yeah. But I do feel like the girls are starting to catch on to that. And I feel like if he continues to try to pers- like manipulate the girls, that's going to be the turning point. Right. I, I, I can't see the guys ever turning on Dougie. Um, so yeah, I think, I think I agree. I think Matt, I, I, I don't know. I don't know the way, the way spicy is in this game, you know, like even when Todd and, and Donna just went like this, mm-hmm. hold on. I gotta go. You know what I mean. So like, it don't take much to like set her off. And like, I've I've heard her on the dailies like a, a few times today, like talking about how they she, like Dougie's starting to get on her nerves and stuff. So like, Spicy is messy, man. Spicy. Man, she is. You no, know, she she sent Donna home, and she's like, oh, I made a mistake. And even even last night, she like she, she had the plan to send home Vivek, and then she comes in the room like, oh, what do we do to save you? Yeah, <laughs> she. So I feel like. Yeah. If anything, Spicy's gonna like pull the trigger on Dougie at some point, and then she's gonna be like, "Oh fuck, what I just do?" Yeah, she's she is wild, man. Like I, I get it. Like she is what I see. I know. I knew exactly why they cast her when she went back. It's like this is what she's there for. She's there to entertain. She's wild. You, yeah. you don't know what's gonna happen next. She doesn't even know what's gonna happen next. So it keeps you on your toes and it keeps you entertained. Uh, sometimes it's the right move. Sometimes it's the wrong. Most more times than not, it's the wrong, but I love it. Like I'm, I'm here for it. I'm cheering for, you know, obviously the two of them, we know them, you know? Uh, but, uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's wild. I think if Todd would ever wins HOH, that might be Dougie's time to go up on the block. Mm -hmm. Todd had said a bunch of times, like there's a common theme going on around here. Right. And like, they don't have a connection whatsoever. Right. Um, Bailey might, Bailey might, I think. If anybody's going to put him up, it's probably going to be one of the two, but the chances of them winning HOH, who knows? Yeah, my my initial like preseason, uh, I knew when Dougie was coming back, uh, Bailey was going to be his downfall. That's what, I've been saying that since the start. One way or another, if it's her winning HOH and putting him up, or if, if she's the reason why, I just, I've always had this feeling that Bailey is going to be Anthony's like downfall one way or another like she's involved in it I don't know why I get this feeling and you're right with Todd her, you know Todd and Bailey are very close um here's the thing man does, does Anthony not know you and Todd are buddies like because you you know Todd that, that's what I thought like I I really wish that they they made that connection and I'm right. sure they have you know what I mean because because Todd is actually um my girlfriend's best friend Man, like, why can't... Oh, see, that's crazy, man. Well, she knew that, that Todd was going on, and I knew that Dougie was going on, but I didn't know Todd was going on, right? Oh. I, actually, I actually thought, like, that this was going to be an all-star season because, like, I, I ended up finding it a couple days before that, like, Dougie was going on. Right. Oh, it's got to be an all-star season, right? Did you think it was going to be one? Uh, no, I knew... So, I knew Dougie was... I knew Dougie was going on. I knew V was going on. Uh, it was just some things, right? But I, I, they were the only two names going around. So I didn't yeah. know, I knew it wasn't going to be a full all-star, but I didn't know how many were coming back. I didn't know it was just the two of them, but I didn't know how many, yeah, but I really did. I, I thought that they were going to make that connection and like, they were going to be boys, but didn't go that way. Man, it's unfortunate. Like that's the thing. Sometimes it's just a common denominator somewhere in the, like, you know, like, just like you said, that's your, your girlfriend's best friend. Yeah. And then, and then they grew up together. Yeah. And then there's like you and Dougie, like that's a connection. It's like, Hey man, like Dougie, er, uh, Pike was my boy last time. Like, let's do it again. Let's run it back. You know, you're my Pike. You know what I mean? Never, unless they never talked about that. I don't know. Like it's anything is possible, right? Man. So did you not watch your season? Who Todd? Yeah. I don't think so. I, I, I don't think he watched big brother at all. Man, because like all he had to do was just if he watched your season or knew I don't know I, I just feel like there there's a way to connect them. I, I, Todd knew of Dougie because uh, because I, I actually went to a wedding um, in Ontario and Todd was there, Rebecca was there, and then, like I actually left to go with Dougie. Like it, like he he knows about Dougie. Okay, but you they never met. 
No, they never met. No. Damn, that's cr small world, man. Canada. Everyone always says everyone knows everyone in Canada. It's true. It's it's so true, man. Small fucking world, man. Oh, that would have been sick, man. Like I like. So the thing is, I actually I do like Todd. I think he's hilarious. That when he got nominated, and he didn't move. Yeah, that was that killed me. Like that that was gold, man. I do like Todd. I mean, is he a great player? No, but I will say this though. I will say this about Todd, man. Sometimes you don't have to be this like big strategic player to be good at the game. Like I if, I feel like people just like him. Like he's just his word is his bond like like people trust him if he says yeah. hey i'm not coming after you they they believe it so I, I feel like maybe yeah there's probably a couple people that would get rid of him sure but i feel like he has enough friendships and bonds in there that it could keep him safe you know i was watching your, your stream and then uh, you were talking about uh like people's body language when, mm -hmm. when todd comes in right and like it, it, it you can tell everybody really feels good with todd and like mm -hmm. i guess everyone thinks he's funny he cooks but, you know, if, if Todd went up against Goose, because I heard on the dailies that that's a potential thing that might happen, right? I don't know who would go home, to be honest. Right. Well, that that's a thing. A, that would be a tough one. It'd be tough. Now, obviously, Bailey would try to keep uh, Todd. Dougie would try to get rid of Todd because Todd's obviously going for him. And that's a, a piece for Bailey, I think. So it's tough. And V would probably, I don't even know, probably get rid of Goose. I don't even know. It's It's so messy. Like, there's... But at the end of the day, I, even though there's all these like intertwining like webs, it, it just seems like Dougie and V, like V I think is in the best spot out of everybody. If I got to be honest right now, I think V is so insulated uh, with the girls. Like it just, she's so well insulated. Um, she gets, and, and the other thing too, that I find like all these house guests keep giving her all the information. She runs to Dougie, gives it to him, or they tell Dougie. He, so like they, they know everybody's game. They know everyone's targets, where everyone sits, where they sit with everybody. And like, that's the key to the game. As long as you know where you sit, like if, you know, Goose wins HOH, well, it might be his fourth target. Well, that's good enough for me for now. I don't have to worry about that. If, you know, Tola wins, I'm not even in, in, a, in, in the equation, you know, as going up. Well, that's good for me too, you know? So it's like, as long as you know where you sit with everybody, you can really just sit back and control the game. You know who doesn't like who. You can kind of keep putting, you know, gas on the fire for those two, you know, make targets out of them. And they have all the answers. Everyone tells them everything, uh, which is it was interesting. What do you think of, of Lexus? I mean, Matt, we talked about he's not even involved. Lexus, man, not even there. Kayla, nah. I mean, she's there in the dailies, but like, no, like normally I would like kind of get into the showmance and I would I would like I would like it. Yeah. I'm well, not, hey, man, I'm shit. In of this show, man, so I'm not at, like every, like every time they have a little segment, I'm like, ew, <laughs> oh, go away. Yeah, Pike doesn't love love. Confirmed. Pike is anti love. No, I just joking. No, but I, I, it is gross. But I, I don't know. For me, anyway, I'm like, I don't really care to watch that. I don't know myself, you know. No. But, but no, no. I, I yeah, you're right. I don't know. Um, if I would have, if I were to pick like my my top favorite players of this season, obviously Dougie, Spicy. Um, Todd, because I know Todd. Yeah. Um, I like uh, I like Kayla. Is it Kayla? Yeah. Yeah, Kayla. For those for those people. Um. Everyone yeah. else kind of like. There's a lot of whatever to me, man. See, I like I like Dougie V. Obviously, those are my two. Uh, Tola, man. Tola's my. I, I was Team Dennis. Dennis is gone. Tola, man. He's from Ottawa. He's from where I'm from. Um, you know, he's he's to me. I think he's in a better place. Then we're led on. We don't see much of them on the episodes. We don't see much of them on the feed. So we don't know what's going on. Um, yeah. But I feel like where he's sitting now, like, yeah, people may not like him. Dougie's kind of protecting him a little bit. Um, you know, I don't know. I just feel like even though he's kind of a target, he's kind of not. Like, he was literally on his way out yesterday. And for some reason, Vivek goes home. How did that even happen? Like, Vivek. We don't really know that, though. We don't know that Tola was going home for sure. Because like True. I, I was actually curious to see what would have played out because I, I do feel like if Todd never confirmed that fifth vote, I don't think the girls were going to vote with Todd. It's true. Eh? We didn't know for your right. We didn't know what was really going to happen. We just assumed it was going to be Tola. Um, yeah, that's you know, shit that happened with, with, with Goose, right? Then like they weren't really trusting Goose. So like that was the fifth vote and it, mm -hmm. that would have been the first split split fucking vote yeah. what do you think of that the twist overall like the whole veto thing how they did it like did you like it because, because in our season they we had the blood veto and mm -hmm. it never got used it was this big thing right and then we had to put uh kira had the potential to use it and it never got used and it just shit the bed and it was fucking stupid yeah it was it was rough like that's why i was so like oh this is 
she's not going to use that. It makes no sense, right? But then obviously she used it. Like, yeah, I, I thought it was great. I thought it was best episode yet this season. Yeah. Um, it was a lot of a lot of drama, a lot of tension. That's that's what we want. Like that's, that's what we want. That was a good episode. That actually really because uh, I found the season very predictable for a little bit. But like last night's episode, it was like a grenade was thrown in there. Boom! I didn't know any of that was gonna happen. I didn't see it coming. Next thing you know, V wins it. It's like oh okay. Well, she's why is she gonna use it? She fucking uses it, and then it's like what is happening here? And then it's just like it was great, man. It was very good episode. I think the season is great. Like I, I've been seeing a lot of people talking shit, saying the season is boring and you know what i mean but like i do feel like there has been drama mm -hmm. single fucking week no yeah i feel like i'll tell you right now i think v being in there is good because she keeps flipping things around and making it interesting it is pretty yeah. predictable like i could see i could see the arguments because it is pretty predictable everyone knows no matter who wins you know v and anthony are gonna basically whoever they want out is gone that's how it's gonna be so i i understand that side of it but i think v especially V I got to give her a lot of credit for this. She is, is definitely carrying the season entertainment wise. Cause she's just so wild, man. And she like, just she'll like start lies for no, like she doesn't even have to, she just goes in and just starts making shit up. And then she's like, fuck, you know, like, like for no reason, you know, and, and I, I respect it. You know, she's wild. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I never thought I would say this, but I think V is like doing a really good job. I think she's in the best spot in the season right now. Anthony's up there too, obviously. But I just think, I think Anthony is just like, like so he's in a really good spot but i think he's just like such a small piece away from being like really good to like out the door i think there's like a such a it's like a very small uh margin of error for him but i think he's doing well but yeah it's hard it's hard man because i want to see like i said i want to see him get a little bit in danger but i want to see him like go to the end so it's it's very hard i'm torn you know but v yeah, yeah. fuck man keep her there let her just blow shit up man holy crap it's crazy yeah. crazy man so yeah i just uh well i, I don't want to keep you forever man but like keep talking about, like whatever you if there's anything you want to uh, let me know about the season that we haven't talked about um if there's anything you want to plug anything like that man like you go for it man because uh mm -hmm. what's that if, you, if there's anything that you want to talk about the season that we didn't bring up that you want to bring up man um let us know man because yeah it's it's i gotta say i think um the gameplay okay let's talk first things first with the gameplay what, first thing what do you think about just anthony and v coming in let's talk about that first just having the two of them do you think that's enough do you think that's not enough do you think it should have been a full all-stars do you think it should have been nobody i think it should have been a full all-star like obviously obviously everybody wants to see that mm -hmm. you know the fans want to see that I, I don't know why they brought back just two um it, obviously they made the season a lot better because if you if you never had oh yeah air, what would even happen you know what i mean you see the experience um, just like shining through yeah they're they're definitely carrying it on their back for sure yeah and like you know if, if they did have an all-star season i would expect that they would bring dougie and spicy back again you know mm -hmm. because if they never like i don't know that's just that's kind of, kind of weird but um overall man I, I like the season i do so my theory on why they brought them and not a full all-star like i think if they're gonna do an all-star season like i'm just being honest i'm not just saying this because you're here i think you dane and and dougie are potential options the three of you like you both all three of you guys were great um can they put the three of you on a season together not a chance like they're never gonna do that right so by against the world. yeah they would never put the three of you on the same season again it's just never gonna happen <laughs> Um, so what are they going to do? They're going to put maybe Anthony on a season like this. And that still leaves the, the room for you or Dane to get called back in an all-star season. Now, if they include winners or not, that depends Dane, you know what I mean? But even having the two of you, I think is, is, is deadly. I don't even know if they would want to put the two of you, but they definitely wouldn't want to put the three of you, but this opens a door for like you or Dane for an all-star season. If there is one, cause I, I'll be honest. I think you guys are actual legitimate potential. I think you guys were really good. All three. I thought the three of you guys were awesome. And, uh, and I think all three of you have the potential to be called back, but they're never going to put the three. Of you. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm retired. Dude, I've done it twice, man. I'm good. I'm old now, man. Fucking 40 years. I'm turning 41, man. Next fuck. If you got the call, you would do it. <sighs> It's, it's tough to say. It. I probably would. I, I don't know. We'll see, man. It's tough, man. It's a tough. I spent two. I spent six months of my life in that house in two in a two year span, dude. It's it's a long time, but we'll see. Time. Yeah, we'll see where the you know if, if it ever came. I mean, I I would say yeah. I mean, I can't say no. I love the I love the competition. I I love to. I love it. I do love it. You know, I do love the show. I love the brand. I love it all. But uh, I don't know. You you'd go back, right? 
Oh, I'll, yeah. 100%. I would. I'd like to see that. I would leave in a heartbeat. Yeah, well, that's what happened when I got the call. I was just like, "All right, man, let's go." You know what I mean? I was just like, "Let's do it." You know, yeah. but uh, she wasn't even done on the. She's like, honestly the best experience I think I've ever had in my life. It was you know, good. Even like even the show I just done, like that was that was great. That was a great time. But like, I would pick Big Brother mm -hmm. and over anything i think you know? yeah big bro it's a good show when you're in there it's a good show uh let's talk i want to talk about that show it's, it's canadian canada's challenge what is it called what is it ultimate challenge uh, it's called canada's ultimate challenge um basically there's five teams of four and uh we're competing from one end of the country uh i can't say where we're starting to the other end of the country that's cool um, yeah and it's all like very physical like you know yeah, it's it's the challenges are tough. Nice. The challenges, the challenges humbled my ass, man. And I walked in there with so much confidence. I'm like, I'm gonna fucking win everything. I, I yeah. I, man, I, you're. I, I know you can't say too much, but I'm, I'm telling you, man. Much, but like there was there was times where I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> man, you're like listen, man. Not not to like you know blow smoke in your ass, but like for those that Pike's a beast, man. Like this guy's an athlete, okay. And like if he tells you it's tough, it's tough because like, I'll tell you, man. He's he's an athlete for sure. Um, yeah, actually, I can't wait to watch that. I don't know when it, when does it different. I I, I will say that because the, there was a first season. I don't know if you ever watched it. Um. I personally didn't like that first season, but they switched a lot of things up this season to make it more about the players. Because the first season they had these uh, um, like Canadian athlete coaches or something, so mm. like the whole season was like based around them, and like they did all the talking and stuff. So they mm. took that away, and now it's just like it's more like a reality type show. I like it. I'll definitely be checking it out for sure, man. I definitely got, you know I got to watch that for sure. That's sick, man. When does that air? April April twenty eighth. Uh, it'll be on CBC every single Sunday. Well, there you go. PM. We're gonna be watching it. Maybe I'll have to show the the stream. We'll have to put you on the stream for it. Hey, awesome, Pike man. I want to say, dudes, honestly, thank you so much for coming in, man. You're you're a beauty. We we love Pike. On, man. Oh, of course. We we'll have to do it again. So for those that don't know, I do stream on uh, Kick and Twitch every single day. 9 p.m. Eastern. Pike is uh, always in the stream watching with us. We're hanging out and stuff. I gotta say, it is fun watching it with, uh, on your stream. Like, cause when you're watching the the on uh, NTV or whatever, whatever the fuck it is, global, you know, you get all the commercials. But, yeah. Like, when it comes to the commercial, you know, he breaks it down. He makes it fun, and you know, people are communicating. You're texting and shit. I, I <laughs> Thank say, you, man. I, do like it. I appreciate. It. No, man. Like I say, you always come through. It's awesome. There's a lot of uh, other alum that come in and watch with us too. It's it's just, it's just a fun time, man. You'll see Kiefer in there, and every you see a bunch of people in there, man. But yeah, Pike. Thanks again. I really appreciate you coming in, man. Uh, one of the one of the greats here, man. I, I don't just say that to anybody, man. Pike's uh, legit. One of the greats. Great player. Love watching you. I hope to see you back on my screen again, man. And uh, Big Brother House. I think you tear it up, buddy. I think you would, man. Uh, we'll see. Time will tell. I think we'll that it's going to come. The, there's going to be an all-star season soon. Oh, give me a, I'm an honorary pretty boy here, man. Oh, I gotta, come on. I'll be the fifth I'm member, man. Honestly, I would really like to see, like, because uh, obviously I think about this all the time. Like, if, if I if I did another season, right, and, like, there are, there was no showmance because right. you know how showmances go, right? You're, you're just, you're, you're not even playing the fucking game. And that's exactly what Matt and Lex is doing right now. They're overcoloring, doing their shit. Yep. I'd like to actually go on a season and, like, be, like, in it the whole Dialed. time. Yeah. And then not have the pretty boys and, like, see what it would happen, you know? Well, that, that was that was actually, I'm glad you brought that up because that was one of the things I was saying when I, when Anthony got called back and, and he was on the show. It's like, well, this time he doesn't have the pretty boys. Let's see how he does it with that. Because I'll be honest, that's probably the best, most dominant alliance we've seen in, in Big Brother. So to see how we can do it, I wanted to see how he does it without you guys. And I mean, he's doing a good job. I mean, you know, and, and actually I want to touch on one thing. He still has the boys. He still has right. people riding for them. Uh, what I noticed about this season, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of people that like got each other's back, but there's no like, committed alliance right there's no like it's like oh like let's i got your back you got my back you know yeah 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 which i don't even get like, yeah it's like yeah i got your back but like when when you're in danger sorry man you gotta go like it's you, later, you know yeah it's not like you're right there's no like i don't know man it's it's it is a little wild I but like uh, there's a lot of people committed to dougie and there's a yeah. lot of com people committed to spicy but everybody else is not really fully committed to each other yeah a lot of them are disposable to them too which is which is makes for good tv i guess right but i want to touch on that point you said about like people are just not they're hating on dougie and stuff uh, on on twitter 
I think it's because he's just been running the show. And I think a lot of times he will just cheer for the underdogs. You know, they don't want to see people just like run through the show. That's kind of, you know, and, and I think he's just doing such a good job. Him and V, uh, they're literally dominating it. So it's like people just want to see them kind of get like knocked down a little bit. Maybe, you know, on the block, one of them get eliminated just to kind of flip things around because they want to see the underdogs kind of come on and, and, you know, whatever you want to call it, just kind of come on top, you know? So um, I don't think they, they don't like him personally. Maybe some do, sure. But I think it's more of just like he's just doing such a good job he's just dominating the season that they're just like hey we want to see it shake up a little bit so um he's doing great man he's i think he's in a good spot i still think he's in a lot of danger i think it's very very hard for him to do it but uh if there's anybody that could do it i guess it's him man i mean he could be the one but i just i think he's like what's it's crazy to see man it, it would be so like i don't think it would that, that has ever happened ever like if, if he goes two full seasons right the block, right well i did so on mine, on my first season, I made it to week eight without touching the block. Uh, he went all the way to the end without touching the block. I did it week eight, and then I got like instantly eliminated. So I technically didn't even get nominated. And then week five, I think I went like week seven or six or something like that. Without, and I finally got nominated. Uh, I couldn't do it. I'll tell you that it's hard, man. It's hard not touching that block because people even just see that, like, hey, this person hasn't touched the block yet. He's got, you know, he or she's got to go up because we can't let that happen. Uh, and you know, so people will throw people up just because they don't want that on their resume. It's like, Hey man, I never touched the block kind of thing. I think he's doing a good job. Uh, but again, I think yeah, he the thing I noticed that, that the, what Dougie used to do in our season, no matter whoever won HOH, Dougie was in that HOH room. Mm -hmm. He was like that week, you know, that no matter who it was, he was making that person feel the best. And that, that's something that I never done. Sometimes mm -hmm. people would get HOH. I was like, fuck that person. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Like, that's what you don't want to do, right? Yeah, yeah. You want to at least, you know, pretend a little bit, man. Yeah. Pike's like, yo, get out of here, man. Get <laughs> the fuck out of here. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I, yeah, I do feel like he's in a really good spot. Yeah, I, I I enjoy watching. I'm just I'm glad I'm happy for him. I think I'm very happy for him. If someone deserves to go back, it, it's him, man. Um, yeah, we're playing call. You know, he was going through such a hard time too, man. Like mm -hmm. was, there was a lot going on in his life, and just to be, you know. Just for all this happening, it's, I don't know. It's, yeah, man. It was perfect timing. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad that he got that call and he's getting, uh, you know, being able to live through it again. Uh, like I said, we play Call of Duty together, him and I. He's a, he's a really good, I don't know if you ever played with him. He's a really good COD. And playing with that guy is so, I, I'm, I fucking suck at Call of Duty. Yeah. Just, just playing with him and listening to him. Bro. <laughs> It's so funny, man. It's so fucking funny. Some of the things he says in the DR, I'm like, man, that's I hear him on Call of Duty, man. He's the same thing, you know. He's great. He's great. He's a really good player too, man. Very good Call of Duty yeah. player. So I, I, I love it, man. Hearing him, you know, some of the things, he's, some of his lines, I hear it, you know, on the on the mic and stuff. It's great. Yeah, yeah. He's a good guy, man. We love him. All right, man. Thanks again for for coming on and chatting, buddy. You know, we're gonna see you in the stream. You know, we do stream the episode. We watch the episodes together. Uh, you're gonna see Pike in there. You're gonna see a lot of alum in there. So uh, thanks again, everybody. Make sure you follow Pike on all his socials. So, uh, Pike, what's your socials, man? Go for it. Let's hear it. Adam Pike, Adam Pike Fitness. You can follow me there. And there you go. Twitter. Anything else you want to plug? Any of your stuff? Um, no, that show is coming up April twenty eighth, CBC. Um, you're gonna want to check it out because it's it's gonna be it's gonna be good. Yes, sir. Uh, so I I do think that that we made this season so good. It's going to be something big in Canada. Oh, I like that. Because the because the first season was like honestly it was dank. And I, I was like asking the, the people who was right. I was like, is, is it going to be like this again? Cause like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't, yeah. <laughs> well, like I, I do strongly believe it's going to be, it's going to be fucking lit. I love that. It's probably going to be like a lot of big brother people seeing this season. Be like, Oh fuck. I got to try out for that. Nice. Cause I, we got some beasts in Canada, man. We got some really good comp beasts uh, that I'd love to see do that. That's sick, man. All right. That's awesome, man. Brother. Sunday, CBC. We're going to watch it. All right, man. Thank you so much for coming in, man. Uh, again, guys, make sure you follow the channel, all that fun stuff, like, you know, the video, all that stuff. Follow us on Kick, Twitch, all that stuff. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you so much, fam. Later.